So guys, uh, out in Revolution Land and, and in the Rake Land, uh, welcome. Today I have a guest uh, who has one of the most, probably the most important last name in all of watchmaking. Let's admit it. And uh, his last name is Breguet. He's Emmanuel Breguet, and he is descended from Abraham Louis Breguet, who I, I don't think there's a person in the world who doesn't love watch, watches who will not say he was the greatest watchmaker of all time. Um, so it's a great pleasure to, to have him here with us today, and he's going to uh, introduce to us uh, some of the novelties for 2020. Uh, we're going to start with a couple of classic watches, which were inspired by uh, pocket watches created, you know, by his ancestor, which are amazing. Then we're going to talk about the Marine Collection, which has uh, one of my favorite watches, which is a, a tourbillon with a running equation, the time indicator, and we'll explain that to you later as well. It was initially introduced in platinum, but now we have it in rose gold. And then we also have a very beautiful Queen of Naples watch as well. But first of all, Emmanuel, how are you, sir? Great to see you. I'm fine, thank you. And very happy to be with you. Right, uh, it's uh, fantastic uh, new technologies. And um, <laughs> I'm in Paris, not in Switzerland. No normally, uh, I work in Switzerland during the week. And now um, I'm in uh, I'm in Paris, and um, and uh, this uh, period was a little bit difficult for everybody, of course. Um, but uh, for for me, it was also the opportunity to continue to investigate in the in the Breguet heritage and uh, patrimony. I'm in charge of uh, marketing, uh, uh, as you know, and uh, but um, uh, but I, I stay the. the, the responsible of the Breguet heritage or the, the guardian of the, the custodian of the crown, <laughs> the custodian <laughs> of, the, of, the, uh, of the treasure. And the treasure, it is a, um, a Breguet heritage uh, materialized by the, the archives we, uh, we have. And uh, I, I had the time to, to, to read, to investigate, to find the new angles of today's for the work of Breguet. And especially, uh, but it's, it, it's not the presentation of the product. I'm sorry, but uh, we, we can speak about the product. <laughs> no, 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 that's but, very interesting. But, um, f yes, uh, um, finally, uh, I found a new angle uh, um, to, to, to study the work of Breguet. It is um, the communication uh, organized by Breguet to promote uh, his product. And especially, uh, I found the, the, the first um, I rediscovered the first um, commercial catalog ever made by a watchmaker, and, and a, 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 a catalog printed in um, 1820. And uh, it is more than a catalog. F first of all, it's a good explanation of the, all the products available uh, with Breguet in the years 1820s, uh, just uh, two, two centuries ago, exactly two centuries ago, and uh, how. Breguet um, did to inform the clients and to provide to his clients a kind of tool to think about the future watch and, and, and to select the watch. And uh, it's a catalog. It's just I, I show you one, one illustration because it was with illustrations. And, That's uh, it, it is incredible. And Breguet explained to the clients. Um, you can look at the, at the illustrations, at the engravings. You, you can select the size of the watch. You can uh, right. select uh, some functions. Uh, if you want a power reserve, if, if you want a moon phase, if you want quarter repeating. And um, yes, the, 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 the communication made by Breguet is absolutely fascinating. And the uh, 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 last thing, and after we speak about the models, um, Breguet, um, with, which, uh, with uh, each watch, um, Breguet provided a document, a kind of certificate or a notice or certificate, who um, was an explanation of the watch, uh, use instructions, and also um, in, in, uh, he, he explained and he gives the name of the Breguet correspondent of, of, of the, some addresses around the world when it was possible to repair the watch and uh, in case of accident you can contact mr x in uh, naples mr x in moscow mr x in istanbul and uh, yes it's um, interesting to, to 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 study the communication of the brand at the time of uh, of the breguet and the breguet salon. 
But that's incredible because everything that you just mentioned is actually completely relevant even to today. You know, the idea that you have a catalog that you can choose from, but this is like the equivalent of a configurator, you know, like the way in which people are configuring their cars today, right? And then the fact exactly, it is a configurator. It's an ancestor of the configurator. And it is um, the, 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 the problematic of the customer care. And, and uh, I, now, uh, with, with all this, uh, the time I spent to, 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 to read and to study this, uh, this new angle of an investigation, I, I, I understood Breguet also um, was a pioneer in terms of uh, customer care. Yes. So customer what I'd like to talk to you about is also because, you know, a lot of people think of Breguet as a pioneer in the creation of complications, which he certainly was. And yes. also the creation of the way watches were sold with the idea of souscription as well. Mm. Yes, but sometimes with people don't flyer, also... with the first, probably the first advertising document of the story of watchmaking too, was the souscription, it was a, a, a flyer, a flyer to promote the product. Yes, but sometimes people, I think, don't talk enough about the fact that he was also a design genius. And he created some of the most stunning and iconic designs for watches. And I think that that should be the focus of our conversation for today. And maybe, Samit, uh, this is a good way for us to get into the uh, reference 7137, because yes. this watch uh, is a masterwork of design. And this watch was actually very much inspired by pocket watch number five, which is one of the historic pocket watches, right? So maybe we let's, let's take a look at that pocket watch and let's talk a little bit about what, what Breguet brought to watch design. Yes. Um, oh, good. Pavetal number five, who is in the Breguet Museum. Uh, this watch is now in the collection of the, of the brand. Uh, it is the essence of the Breguet style, and the classic family is the oldest family uh, of, uh, in, in the Breguet catalog, of course. But uh, we, we, we started with this kind of watches in the mid uh, 1780s. And um, Breguet, um, it's, it's an innovation in terms of the style and design because as a, the, before Breguet, the watchmaking was in the Baroque uh, era. It means round forms, highly uh, complicated um, design of hands, for example, and uh, full of decoration on the dial and on everything. And Breguet is a, is a, is, is a cleaner. Breguet remote all the all the decoration and replace all the decoration, all the painting, all the complicated things by a very sober um, design. And he, he used the guilloche. He, he didn't invent the, the, the guilloche technique, but he has the idea to apply the guilloche technique to the dials of our watches. And uh, it, it, it means it's... Um, the watches are, are, are easier to read. It's, uh, the innovation of Breguet, it's, it's uh, always something useful. It, and it, it was not just an idea. The, 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 the guillochage, it's absolutely elegant. It's the summum of elegance, but it is useful. It's, I, I love it, how it, is, it is anti-reflect. It is, uh, everything is easy to read. And, uh, and, uh, of course, because you have the choice of a lot of different patterns for the guillochage, and you alternate the, 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 the different patterns. For example, for the power reserve indicator, for the second sector subdial, and for, for many things. And uh, Breguet cleaned all the decoration, and Breguet used also the, um, the enamel, but it's, an, it's another subject because now we are on the guillochage. But in, in terms of, of, of design, he's a totally pioneer. He's the first modern watch designer in the history of time, timekeeping. And what is amazing, as Emmanuel was talking about, his watches were super Baroque up until this point, very ornate, so on and so forth. And Breguet basically created a purity of design that was about functionality and about visibility, right? So here you see that Breguet is using guilloche um, as his core motif, which incidentally, can I just say the quality of this guilloche is incredible. I mean, if you look at how minute it is, but he's applying the guilloche different patterns of different parts of the watch to separate the information, right? So you have within the small seconds, you have... Um, 
a Damier check, right? And then within the uh, power yes, reserve... Yes, the Paris, hobnailing for the main part of the dial, the, yes. the, the basket wave, panier for the power indication. Exactly. And, um, yes. And, and everything has got a, a purpose to it. And I think that this is, this is revolutionary. Would you agree, Emmanuel? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So let's go from here to look at the two, the two wristwatches that were inspired by this. The first one in 1983, the reference 3130, and then in 2008, the 7137. I believe, Summit, you've got a slide of that, if you don't mind. There we go. Yes, exactly. The, the, the first model was launched in 1983 in uh, with a smaller diameter. It was a 35.5, and since 2008, it's uh, now it's 39. And uh, for this year, we don't change the diameter. It's it's a very good diameter, but we 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 change a, a, a little bit the the, the gearshape pattern, and um, we propose um, a wonderful blue uh, dial on the white gold case version. And uh, okay. it is it it, it is a, a it is a good time to do that. And to, uh, <laughs> so just to, to uh, just refresh everyone's memory, eighty three, the thirty one thirty is launched. So what you have here is similar to the pocket watch number five. Is three primary indications, including the hand, right? So um, here you have uh, the power reserve, the moon phase, as you saw on pocket watch number moon, five. Moon phase and date, yes. On 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 the pocket watch at six, it was the general release, the, okay. the second. Okay. But uh, we, we, with the wristwatch, it's a it, it's a the date. And yeah. every sector has a a different treatment in terms of the gear shade as well. Which so exactly. let's go to the blue the blue watch. But Emmanuel, tell us one thing because if I'm not mistaken, and maybe not a lot of people know this, every uh, Breguet watch. I guess unless it's an enamel dial watch, every dial that you see is decorated is actually a gold dial that it, that has Guilloche Man applied to it. Correct? Yes, it is, um, it's a each dial is in gold, silvered, or bluered in this case. Wow! So tell us a little bit about the three different uh, decoration techniques we see here. We see basket, we see checker, and we see Clou de Paris. Um, and how they're to you they're used in a way that that, that pays tribute to the the tradition of Breguet. And yet, you know what's amazing is it feels so contemporary at the same time. You know, exactly. Um, co compare with the previous uh, model, we introduced a new uh, new um, guilloche pattern, uh, li like the damier. The damier for the for the sub dial with the date sub dial is is uh, very lisible and very powerful, and. Um, the the basket wave for the power reserve is uh, also very uh, visible, and um, the, the, this new uh, model has something uh, stronger than the, the the previous one and something more modern, and it shows the um, the plasticity of the of, of the Breguet design. But it's uh, it's new. You, you 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 we can change many things. But it remains a breguet, and uh, the, the, this plasticity is uh, is, uh, is incredible. And for for the moon, we we we, we change the, the the moon, who is more uh, realistic. Before it was a romantic moon with eyes, nose, mouth, and and now it's a more uh, realistic. It's uh, embossed. It's uh, it's a beautiful work for for the for the, for the moon. I and, love uh, it. It's so cool just by changing the move phase that you make the watch so incredibly contemporary. And you know, this is also a great image to see because you can see at the quality of the guilloche that's applied here. You know, that clue the Paris is so perfect and so tiny. And this is, you know, bear in mind, this is using ancient machines that are tracing a pattern, a rose engine pattern. I guess the English term was rose engine um, uh, a turning. It's exactly. so incredibly well executed. Now, what's exactly. also- Exactly, and, and the guilloche workshop in the manufacturer. Is, is one of the most impressive things in the manufacture. It's a, and the, the technicity and the knowledge and the, 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 the level of the competence of the, of the watchmakers, of the guillocheur, is something, it's, it's a key for Breguet. Beautiful. And what I also like is you can also see how well the sort of circular uh, brushing on the track where the hours are placed 
which is, is something that you see even in the original Breguet watches like the Apaka watch number five. And then, of course, the hidden signature as well. And you, exactly, the, the signature secret in the signature. It, it, it initially made to, to, to fight under the counterfeiters. Incredible. And, and the amount of handwork that goes into something like this is, is actually quite extraordinary. So you, you can just guys can only imagine the, the immense amount of like manual labor that goes just into creating the dial of this watch, you know? Uh, no, really wonderful. And, and I think that, you know, it's so charming also now that we're in a time in the world where I think people want elegance, but maybe we're going to return a little bit more to discreet elegance because I would say in a world that has gone through some challenges, maybe it's not so cool to be so overt, you know? I think that this mm -hmm. is, mm -hmm. Breguet is the perfect brand for this. But it's, a, it, it's a so elegant, elegant and the sober. Because totally. they, they, the summum of the elegance for me for, and for, 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 for Breguet, the summum of the elegance, it's to, um, to look simple, even when it's not simple. <laughs> I love that. It, it, it is a summum of the Breguet elegance. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. And here we have the, uh, the back of the watch as well, uh, the automatic movement, and of course the, uh, the rotor, which is, has the same motif applied for it. This is, I believe this is called a barley uh, yes, and uh, the level of uh, fi finition of the um, oscillating uh, watch and the, the oscillating weight and uh, we, yes. with, the, with the gear charge, the signatures and numbers and, uh, and everything is consigned in the Breguet archives. We have the individual number and each Breguet is unique for, 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 for many reasons, but one of the reasons is uh, the individual uh, number who is uh, registered in the Breguet archives until today. Huh? We, we, we continue this tradition and in the future it, 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 it will be very easy to find the watch of a produced uh, today we continue the pretty, tradition you know even the small details such as like the balance wheel which is a free sprung balance wheel and of course the hairspring which has of course a breguet overcoil you know <laughs> i mean all breguet of these overcoil, you know, spiral breguet <laughs> yeah exactly you know so for those of you who are, are just wondering breguet hands uh, breguet overcoil <laughs> <laughs> Breguet, Breguet, you know, Breguet, Breguet anything. Breguet is everywhere in the in watchmaking. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's so true. The, uh, <laughs> the, 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 it's a um, uh, free sprung balance wheel. Me that means that it's regulated using these, uh, these inertia screws. And then if you look closely, the overcoil has a special curve, a terminal curve, which helps mm -hmm. in more centric breathing. And that was a, a, something created by Breguet as well. So all the little nuances of all the incredible creations um, by Breguet are all an evidence uh, in this watch. So let's go from here to another watch in the classic collection, the 7337, which was inspired by Pocket Watch 4691. So um, yes, go to the Pocket Watch first, yeah? Um, yes, it's inspired by um, some Pocket Watch um, produced uh, at the beginning of the years uh, 1810. Okay. And um, with an uh, eccentric off centered hour ring. And um, I, I, I consider um, the eccentric uh, dials are also a major innovation, uh, Breguet innovation in terms of aesthetic, because it's extraordinarily elegant and uh, it's a specificity of Breguet. No, 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 nobody did that before, before Breguet in the years uh, tens of the, of the 19th century. And we have in the museum some beautiful pieces like that. And the, 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 the picture you are showing, it's a, it's a very good example of the very complicated uh, watch with the off-centered hour ring, moon on the top, day, date. And uh, in this uh, model you show, it's uh, also an equation of time. Wow, that's really cool. And, and, and the watch is very, very, very slim. It's, uh, Oh, okay. We've got a stand. And this, this uh, one too, who is uh, who is in the Breguet Museum. Yes. And I love this design, and I wear the the, the, the the not the new model. It's not yet available for me, but uh, it's. Uh, Can we go to um, uh, Emmanuel's? Maybe watch? in the next future. Sorry, Emmanuel. Could you raise your watch again? You're wearing I this have. model. Uh, the ah, very nice. Fabulous. So let's go from there. So the, the main thing that we wanted to show in that picture was uh, the, the idea of putting the indications at the perimeter of the dial, which had never been done before and which is something that Breguet had created. So let's look now at two watches of, in 1986, the 3330 and yes. in 2009, the 7337, um, mm -hmm. to see how that design language was used in wristwatches as well. 
Mm -hmm. So here we go. Exactly. And, oh, what happened? So, <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. Yes. It's, uh, what, 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 once again, it's uh, the, 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 the Brigge codes and the, the, the plasticity of the Brigge code and the adaptability of the, of the, of the Brigge codes. And uh, it had started in the years, um, it started a long time ago, and, and uh, not with complications, but uh, I, I have a, a, a personal watch here who is a, who is a classic, who is a, one of the first Brigge classic produced oh, in the years, uh, in, in, and, and, and the, the, the model is a, sorry. Oh, wow, yeah, great. Because the, the brand started to uh, adapt to the Brigge codes to the wristwatches uh, at the end of the years 1930s, and especially the, the, the model I show is a model uh, started in the mid uh, 20th century. And Brigge produced this model during uh, almost 40 years, just oh. before the, the, the generation we speak about. Incredible. With complications was with no, no, no complication, but uh, um, we, we, we started to do some. Uh, Brigge codes wristwatches before this generation we speak about today. Amazing. So just to, 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 to mention it. So let's go to the new version of the 7337, which is also a wonderful watch because, again, uh, you have all of the codes of Brigge, uh, but it feels just so contemporary. So this also, so it's got the moon phase now, which is the photorealistic moon that you were talking about in the, in the 7137 that we just looked at. Yeah, yeah, yes, it's the same, same, same moon, moon phase. Um, Clou de Paris uh, for, for, for the um, in, in, inside the hour ring, and of course, the Grand d'Orge around checkerboard for the small second, and, uh, and the new uh, moon, the, the new uh, realistic, the new uh, physical moon, and this blue color because uh, this, this blue is, uh, is linked with Breguet, it's, uh, it's the blue of the blue and hands. It's the blue of the of the sea. Yeah? Brigue, uh, we will speak uh, uh, later uh, about uh, the, the Brigue and the world of navigation, Brigue Marine, and it's the blue of the sea, the blue of the sky, and, and the blue of the Brigue hand. Amazing! I love it. I really like the uh, the details of the clouds. You know, these little clouds that are on either mm. side, of it, and yes. they have a hand engraving on it as well. Yes. And our designers uh, worked a lot to, 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 to change some, some, some details. Oh, that's yes. That's so cool. And it's, it's a very powerful, yes. And, and, and it's so cool that the, the design language that was created by Breguet, which was something, you know, it was meant to be modern when he created it, you know, now two, <laughs> 200 plus years ago, uh, it's still so relevant today. I mean, it so, feels so contemporary, so relevant, and so modern. Would you agree? And, and um, this um, patrimony and the antique watches are a very um, large source of inspiration because we, we, we have the example of these two watches inspired by the number five or inspired by the, the watches with a off-centred hour ring. But uh, if, if you visit the Brigge Museum or uh, if, if you visit the Brigge collection uh, uh, in the British Museum or uh, so, uh, you. You, you can see how the, 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 the Brigue style is inspiring. Each Brigue is, uh, was different. Brigue ne never produced uh, twice the same watch. And uh, this patrimony is an enormous source of inspiration. And I'm very happy for this uh, so, uh, so beautiful to uh, iconic model to uh, rejuvenate uh, the, the, the classic family, who is the base of the, of the, the, basis of the, of the Brigue collection. Excellent. And, you know, and these are two, uh, I guess that you would call them kind of medium complication watches. I mean, they're still masterpieces of art, but here you obviously have day, date, and then the phase of the moon. On the previous watch, you had date, uh, moon phase, and I believe power reserve. Um, mm -hmm. But let's transition from this to something that is called uh, a, a grand complication, right? And in this case, it is a tourbillon um, with an equation of time indicator, a very interesting equation of time indicator because most of them will show you the difference 
either my, between minus 16 to plus 14, um, the, the, between civil time and solar time. However, in this, in this watch, it actually adds it automatically to the second minute hand on the on, uh, affixed to the Canon pin. Yes, so it's very, it's very easy, yeah, very easy to read the two different times, yes. And now we 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 are in the in the marine collection, and it's a it's a it's a flagship uh, model. And uh, what I appreciate, it's a tribute to the tourbillon. It's a tribute to the equation of time, and uh, and and uh, consequently a tribute to the world of uh, navigation and the world of exploration. And uh, it is also a reference to the fact uh, Breguet became uh, official horloger de la Marine Royale. It means official provider of the French Royal Navy. And a lot of uh, Breguet timepieces, uh, marine timepieces, uh, played a major role in the explorations of the 19th century all around the world. And uh, th th this piece is a, it's totally a new piece new kind of a guillochage, a new kind of case, new, everything is new and it's still a breguet. And it, it is a work of our, of our designer, is a, to change everything and to remain breguet. <laughs> I, I think like uh, this model is a very good example of uh, what we are able to do uh, today in terms of uh, of a, of a breguet design, but with very new elements. But once again, it is a, the, the, the heritage of breguet and the breguet design and the work of, of the founder, Abraham Louis Breguet, is not a jail, it's a gateway to new things. Amazing. And I just want to run you guys through this because this watch is quite subtle. I mean, I guess all Breguet watches are subtle, but subtle in the, in the way it uses complication. So if you, let's take a quick look at it. Um, You'll, oh, okay, even better. So what you have here is a tourbillon, but that tourbillon is actually underneath a cam, right? So you'll see an elliptical shape cam. That elliptical shape cam is the equation of time cam. So basically the, the Earth has an elliptical orbit around the sun. That means that um, the majority of days are not actually 24 hours. They're either uh, up to minus 16 or plus 14 minutes a day, right? I think there's like two days a year that actually are 24 hours and that's it. Um, so in order for a watch to have an equation of time cam, you also need to have a feeler so that you, you'll probably see that right on the top. You'll see a little ruby pin there, and that's feeling the position in the equation of time cam to provide that information to the minute hand. But this watch also underlyingly needs to have a perpetual calendar because it needs to tell you, it needs to know what day you're in all the time in perpetuity. So here you have, and let's pull out a little bit to go back to the, um, to the wider shot. You have, you, of course, your time, hour and minute in the, uh, the, the main hands, which have luminous reggae hands, which are so cool. And then you have a retrograde date indicator uh, from 1 to 31, this scale here. And so that's the, the date hand. And then you have the day hand on the upper left and the month hand on the upper right. And then you'll see that there is an additional hand with, I would say, something that looks like a sun on the tip of it, right? And that is the running equation of time hand. So that hand will automatically compensate the amount of time that is the difference between civil time and uh, solar time and create a like civil time reading for it. It will show you the difference in terms of civil time, which I think is amazing because quite honestly, every time I've seen an equation of time hand, you either have to subtract or, or, or um, add to find out what the actual solar time hand. So that mm -hmm. time is giving you the actual solar time but obviously within our 24 hour system of measuring it. So it is a masterpiece and it is incredible this watch, you know? Yeah, it uh, is and, and, and the, uh, once again, the, the, the lisibility is very good. It's uh, probably the, the most lisible equation of time watch ever made. It's, as you said, it's very easy to read. And um, the tourbillon, with the, the, the tourbillon is very uh, large. And the equation of time cage um, came is very lisible, and uh, it's um, it's good for the for the user for the owner of the watch who is able to understand his watch. Because now I, I, I think when we buy a watch like this one, we want to understand, and uh, we 
you want to be uh, emerged in the movement. And uh, the, vis the visibility of the movement is incredible. And on the back of the watch, we have also many interesting things, uh, including um, beautiful engraving of the Royal Louis, the, the, the flagship of the, of the French uh, Royal Navy at the time where Breguet pointed to the French wow. Royal Navy. It's a Royal Louis, the Royal Louis. <laughs> was a... That's amazing. And you know, I, like, I also love this because it's such an amazing combination between traditional um, watchmaking. So you see um, everything here has been entirely hand engraved. And then you look at the tourbillon and you can see that that escapement wheel is a silicon escapement wheel. You know, you can tell from the color of it as well. So you see that also um, Breguet has been continuing to advance in the use of modern technology as well. And it's a wonderful combination of these two, uh, of the, the, the the future and, and the heritage of the past uh, together in one timepiece. I mean, really, it, it is an excellent uh, chemistry between the past and the present. In terms of style, it's a free interpretation of the Breguet design uh, with a full of historical references, including this boat engraved behind and uh, with the magic date of a uh, Seven Messidor, year nine, the date of the patent of the tourbillon, and uh, and, and and the silicon uh, and the silicon piece. And, uh, Incredible! It is, uh, it, it is Breguet today. It is uh, yeah. totally full of uh, DNA and uh, total, totally uh, contemporary. It is uh, I, I... the good chemistry, and it is the, the magic. The, the, the magic aspect, the magic <laughs> dimension of the watch and That's of the brand. Phenomenal. I love it. Um, okay, so, and perhaps if you don't mind, uh, Emmanuel, we'll end things off talking about a woman's watch. Yes. Uh, the Queen of Naples. Ah, ju ju just a word uh, about the new gold bracelet. Ah, yes, I'm sorry. To, 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 yes. <laughs> to complete the marine collections, the, the, the new one, we have now. Um, we have gold bracelets and a very elegant and a comfortable gold bracelet, uh, integrated bracelet, alternating uh, polished and brushed um, different surfaces. And uh, it is important too to, to, to show the, the, the possibility now to have a gold bracelet with this uh, wonderful new marine collection. Are the um, the bracelets available for so any watch that was in the new marine collection? Exactly. Um, now, yes. You retrofit it with these bracelets as well. Exactly. That's cool. I have to yes. say. You, and and now the, the the new marine family is a, is, is a real family with uh, right. many possibilities: uh, straps and uh, leather straps, bracelets, uh, simple watch, uh, chronograph, alarm and to beyond uh, running equation. It's a beautiful family now and successful. I, I think that that's actually like really a nice a tribute to the strength of the group as well, right? Because uh, um, I was, when we were doing the presentation of the Blancpain novelties, there's this very beautiful now kind of like beads of rice type bracelet that's being used on the Blancpain watches. And mm -hmm. it's, they're just magnificent. And they really bring a whole other sort of spirit and identity to the watch as well. So, okay, very cool. So guys, the bracelets are now available. So if you have a previous Marine watch that is from the new, these new collections, you can go and get a, a bracelet for your watch too. So now finally, uh, let's round it out with a watch called the Queen of Naples, uh, named yes. after Caroline, who is the sister of Bonaparte. Right? You know already everything about Breguet. Uh, yes, it's... Um... It's a fantastic uh, collection, Breguet collection, launched in 2002. It's uh, based on a historical fact, the, the, cre the creation uh, by Breguet of the first um, watch originally designed to be wear on the wrist. And uh, the watch was ordered in 1810, paid in 1811, and delivered in 1812. And by the way, it means uh, it means it was a short time to develop such a revolutionary watch, just uh, two years. So Amazing. Watchmaking okay. is short. 
<laughs> and uh, it's a line dedicated to ladies, of course. It's a free free interpretation because we 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 had in the archives uh, um, a quite good um, quite good description of the original one, and you we know we just know that the, the shape is oblong shape. And the design of the Queen of Naples is a free interpretation of the word oblong. And um, and uh, this year, uh, as uh, as you know, we have already uh, many references in the Queen of Naples family, and and the success is absolutely incredible. And this year, it is uh, emergence of the new kind of dial. It means for the first time we introduce an enamel dial in a Queen of Naples. And uh, in, uh, an enamel dial grand feu in the Breguet tradition, it means uh, white enamel, very well done, very wonderful top level quality enamel dial with um, blue, once again, blue, blue, uh, uh, a beloved color for Breguet, and uh, with these um, numerals too and uh, with, with the diamond pair at six and uh, it's a um, very important uh, model to, to 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 complete the queen of naples uh, family excellent emmanuel thank you so much for joining us today um wishing you a wonderful weekend uh um, love the watches the classic watches in particular are, are to me striking a marvelous chord the language of guilloche and the language of, uh, of, of uh, Louis uh, mm -hmm. uh, of Brigade as well is uh, of Abraham Louis Brigade is, is magnificent, honestly. So but, thank uh, you, sir. It, it, it's a pleasure for me to speak with you because you you, you know uh, many things about Breguet and and you you you, you feel the essence of Breguet, who is to produce watches, but more than watches. A, a Breguet watch is more than a watch, is, is um, to wear a piece of the human history of, of your wrist. It's an extraordinary legacy and an extraordinary uh, living brand today, full of uh, many projects. Well said, Thank you sir. very much. Thank you so much. Lovely Thank to you. see you. Thank you. Take care.